Hi everyone, today we're going to practice grid drawing. We've already done some grid drawings at the beginning of class. We had our grids drawn for us, but now I would like you to practice drawing your own grid. So in order to draw our own grid, we will need to have this photograph pulled up. I've attached this photo to the assignment, so it's already gridded um, with our nice red lines so we can see the grid really well. Um, this one is four inches on this side and six inches on this side. So I've got it on a one inch grid. So I've got six boxes this way and four boxes this way. Every box is one inch in size. So first to start this drawing and use a grid, we've got to make our own grid. So we're gonna do this one to one, meaning we're gonna make it the same size We've got one inch grids here. We're gonna put one inch grids on our sketchbook paper. So you have a blank page in your sketchbook. And the easiest way to do this, you could measure four by six inches anywhere on your page, but the easiest way to do this is to start from the edge of your page. So I would start here at the edge, line up your ruler to zero. My ruler is a metal ruler and zero or wherever we start measuring is at the very end of the ruler. Um, some of you guys may have a ruler that has a little bit of a space and then it says the first mark that you um, are supposed to measure from. So just look at your ruler and um, kind of get familiar with how it's set up before you go to measure. Um, everybody should have a ruler that was on the list of supplies. Super important. You can't really do a grid without a ruler. You've got to have a way to measure. So get your rulers out. We're going to line up zero to the edge of our page. I'm going to make mine four by six inches right here in the corner of this page. So I'm going to make a mark every inch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so if you guys remember from Art 1, I like to make two um, marks for every time that I, um, I make a grid because then I want to connect my dots. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. So I'm going to line up. I'm going to move up a little bit, line up my ruler to the edge of the page, mark one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and connect this one over here. So I turn my ruler, I line it up on the dots really straight, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a line. Okay, so this edge of my page is going to serve as one side of my drawing. The bottom is going to serve as the bottom side of my drawing. And now I have to draw four inches up and six inches across. So I'm going to turn my page and I'm going to measure Let's see. While you guys don't get confused, I'm going to go ahead and connect these dots. We've already made some lines, so let's just go ahead and connect the dots. This is every inch all the way over to six inches. There's several different ways you can make a grid. There's not one particular way. As long as you get um, your four by six inches and you've got all your squares that you need, you should be fine. So right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six inches all the way over to the side here, but I don't know how far to go up. I don't have my top line drawn yet. So let me turn my page. I'm gonna turn it this way so that I can line up my ruler zero to four, okay? Because I know that this side has gotta be four inches. So one, two, three, and there, that's my line at four. And I like to make two different points of reference so that I can connect my dots. If I only had one line on there, I wouldn't know how to line up my ruler. So if I only tried to measure from this top set of marks, my ruler could go this way or this way, any which way, but I want it to make a straight line. I wanna be able to line up these two points really nice and straight and connect the dots. Connecting the dots makes me have a straight line. So I'm gonna move that over. Connect those dots. Connect these dots. And then this one here is the fourth line. It's at four inches. 
that means I can go ahead and erase where I kind of went over with my first set of lines. Okay, so now I have four inches by six inches gridded out on my paper, and I'm using the edges of my paper um, as a guide. It's just easier to measure that way. If you want to get fancy and make your square or your rectangle in the middle of your page, that's fine too. Okay, as long as you have four inches by six inch grid, which ends up being the exact same grid that you have in your reference photo. So as long as your grid box boxes match the reference photo, you're good, okay? Once you have your grid drawn, then you need to go in and start drawing the fruit. So you'll use the grid lines just like you did before um, on your other drawings that you did of a grid. And you'll start drawing the fruit. Okay, remember that we use grid drawing to help get our drawings more accurate. It is not cheating. It is a way to get really nice, confident lines and an accurate drawing. Okay, so you will continue to draw all of the fruit, the lines in the boxes um, where they belong, everything lined up correctly, and then go ahead and shade it. This is kind of a quick sketch um, nice shading in here that's not really detailed. It's not too smooth. If you notice, they use mostly hatching um, throughout the whole thing so you guys can practice some hatching. I would just do this quick sketch. Make sure that with this assignment you know how to draw your own grid and you know how to follow the grid boxes to get the drawing from the photograph um, and onto your sketchbook page. Okay, if you all have any questions, let me know. Happy drawing.